And I'm trying to see if we have a health cannon anywhere. Oh. I, that, I think that's it. She'll come down like on your position. Oh, there it is. Watch out. Wow, right in the alleyway. Oh my God, what a shot. <laughs> Now that's danger close. Incredible fire support for the insurgents. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. Now, I know we've got a lot of Hellcat and stuff over the past couple days, but this thing is just too much fun. And many of y'all had asked to see an Eye in the Sky showcase in it. And man, as fun as these things are to shoot, they actually look even better if you can watch them hit the target from the top down. In this round of Muta Invasion, we have the Canadians invading with the insurgents defending. And as you'll see, there's a lot of explosions. Hell cannons, mortar barrages, IEDs, grenades, RPGs. Seriously, it's all blowing up on the insurgent side and I absolutely love it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map or game mode that you would like to see in a future Eye in the Sky. And don't forget to check out the live streams at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. And finally, I do want to give a quick shout out to a new channel sponsor, Gamersubs. If you watch the live streams, you know that I am extremely picky when it comes to energy drinks, and with zero sugar and a bunch of awesome flavors, Gamersups is my new go-to, and if you'd like to try it out, you can actually get some free samples by clicking the link down below. And if you do use that link and use code MOY, you get 10% off all purchases site-wide. Anything from merch or the drinks, enjoy 10% off with code MOY and click the link. Enjoy it, and thank you guys again. It's because of y'all's support here and on Twitch that I'm able to do this and have these types of opportunities, so I appreciate it immensely. But enough of that, let's get on with the video. Two lav six is a tap V Lodgy behind them, and you see that new M113 APC way in the way in the back. APC trying to take a, or rather, lav six suppressing some fire here as they start to push into the objective. No, that's starting to light up the compound, armor, dude. That's a no lot of armor. So we're kind of screwed. More people spawning for. Let's take a look at it. You can see. A lot of armor they're shooting at literally one guy. Pog, boot, doc. Oh, wait a second. Cool golem actually takes an RPG. Shoots four outside the back. And they, why, they're not even, they're not following their armor. Literally the Lodgy has an armored convoy, skips the armored convoy, goes down the main road. Half the squad oh, dies. Losing village, guys. That's not good. We don't have anything on Chop Shop. And yeah, the Canadians just barely making it out. Hopefully my survive. I'm surprised they didn't lose everything there. That was very risky. You can see the tire and the rest of the squad way in the back here. Just dismount. I mean, there there weren't that many people on the actual objective for insurgents. So luckily... You guys got to stall more on... Yeah, you need to stall a bit more. Village. But you can see there's a handful of infantry here. Nothing much. You're about to run right into a BTR that should see this Lodgy. Hey, what's the point of the five middle of the map when there's not a point there? Is he gonna miss that Lodgy? Oh it's no, is he... Uh, uh, come on! I don't know. Hell cannon, maybe. He's... Right beside us. Like down in the square. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah. mine. You should... No depression, there he goes! Lodgy finally gets his tire moving. Keep backing, no depression. No depression, he says. Canadians right now have a lot of depression if they're part of that Lodgy. Uh, Finally get the tires up, and this BTR is really making it hard on him. That was that Canada will take that first village point relatively easy, it looks like, but at least one Lodgy down, and that is huge. You see some LAVs. Oh, hello! That is a Hell Cannon! That just slams into the first point. Where is that Hell Cannon based out of? Hell Cannon. Back in police. Let's go take a look. There it is! The propane! Uh, 
Now that is indirect fire. So they have a double mortar fob going on here. One mortar tube and then the hell cannon. I want to see this. Oh my. <laughs> That's incredible, dude. <laughs> you want to try? These yes, please. Insurgents are nice. Minutes. They're taking turns. Enemy tank destroyed. I'd say it's 750. Yeah. Come on. Launch it! <laughs> Fire in the hole. Oh my god! Ooh. That's awesome. There it goes. And they are putting some hurt down on the objective. Uh, South Village is being capped by the Canadians. There you see the hell cannon lands just a little short. We'll put some of these markers on so you can see them. Canada is the, are the ones in red. Insurgents in blue. And the actual, the, the non hell cannon mortars are pretty good. Hell cannon was a bit short. So if you can actually get a hell cannon in the middle of this point. Yeah, landing just a little short needs about another hundred meters. Hab right there too. Dude, and these new graphics for the explosions. Oh, these mortars look fantastic. Hell cannon is super short. I don't know why they're not talking about this. They might not have any any spotters. But very, very short. The LAV moves to clear the ridge. I mean, he's still a hundred meters short. he would be so effective if they just get it on target. And so just need a little bit of eyes. Do we know where any of their labs are right now? We need some accurate marks on it. Nah, I'm looking, hold on. Even though there is a lot of indirect, there just is not enough infantry on this objective for insurgents. You see two LAV sixes. And the new M113 APC has a 50 cal and the C6 machine gun in that turret. And it is just way too easy for Canadians. Giving this first point as a freebie is no bueno. See, Canadians. Oh, there you go. Hell Cannon starting to get dialed in. Canadians trying to heal up their wounded. Hey, can we get one of those big lodges to make a uh, run here to Chop Shop? We can actually fortify this a little bit. Mortar's now a little bit off. I'm still hoping that Hell Cannon... Oh, I think I just heard a boom. If that Hell Cannon, honestly, just is now a bit... 50 or so more meters. Squad 6, you have eyes on the end there. Uh, labs. Wow! Yeah, on, my, on my observe. What a he strike! Just attention and repair. Oh, he's moving again. Confirmed. Dude! At least one Canadian goes down. APC starts smoking. There it goes. Canadians need to start getting into cover because this hell cannon is finally being dialed in. And another one. I think that's right where one of the Canadians was just chilling. Now, as, as these go in, Canada really, really good push in the beginning to secure South Village. And it seems that although this was about for free, we're going to turn on FOB creation marks real quick. You can see uh, Insurgents do have a pretty good FOB set up on Chop Garage. They also have one on Mosque and Police Station as well as way out west. It's just kind of, a, I guess, a mortar FOB. 
more of a flank pre prevention fob. So, insurgents, maybe they just didn't want to overextend from the beginning, put all their eggs in one basket on the first point. Uh, but hopefully, they can actually do... Nice. Dude, these hell cannons, I absolutely love it. Hopefully, they can do a, a little bit of defensive work now that they've lost the first point. Uh, 831 tickets for insurgents, 265 for Canadians. So still quite a few tickets, only maybe 30 or 40 or so lost on that initial push. We're going to chill here for another volley or two to see if we can get dialed in. You can see that I don't, oh, this is actually interesting. If you notice, there was a Canadian hab here as Shaky Legs gets obliterated by the propane mortar. Uh, there was a fob here. I think Canadians actually dug it down. The new radio changed 20 tickets per radio. What usually happens in... Can we get update mics on that lab? Oh, and if, if they had the same range, Roger, but just gonna... over to the east a bit, they could hit this so well. I, I think the Canadians actually dug the radio down to prevent an easy 20 tickets. That, that is really interesting. I'm wondering if that's going to become more of a uh, invasion meta to just kind of mop up your old fobs because it is super common for insurgent sappers after the first or second point is down to just go and mop up radius. Is that F6 have accurate? Yeah, yes, it's very accurate. Laji goes to move out. In the meantime, Chop Garage is the new active objective. We have Maps are currently updated. One, one on my marker. Two, three, four. Watch out, we have an heavy artillery coming to F6. Four LAVs and a leopard. Way out east here. The leopard this should be up. Also. A vehicle playground. Roger. If we have, you can see way out on the distance. It is really interesting. Insurgents aren't taking any of their new armor. We had a couple that just spawn. You actually have. Oh, this is this is interesting. This is one of the the Canadian vehicles you rarely see. Back when Nana Civic was released, uh, which eventually got removed and replaced with Goose Bay, these little things. You could drive and find everywhere. It's a Lodgy. That lab on my marker is not pushing up. He's just supporting. It's two people. I think it holds, what, like something. 600? Different. Something like that. Things, by chance. A tiny little, uh, little Vic. So you now have the G-Wagons, but the first original... Ooh, helicopter near... Oh, helicopter is on fire. Hold on a second. Touchdown a little hard as he starts taking some small arms. Might be able to save it. Oh, hold on a second. Look to the left. You got the AA Techie. Oh, and he does go down. The AA Techie doing work. Take doing just to enough to scare out the helicopter, and he crashes into the side. Guys, we have, is, looks uh, like the pilot did dismount, trying to save himself. Last stand. Or scout car, Jeep, running, oh, and he goes from, down. Good effort from the, the pilot, tower. trying to make the best of a situation. Uh, another SPG round for good measure. Um, Take a stationary. But yeah, the, these, uh, right. what are they called? Gators, uh, right? Denver, Old Gators. To used to find them all over when Canada was uh, just Roger. released. Uh, and they've slowly kind of gotten rid of them. Two uh, but this is, I, I love seeing it. These Gators are fun, man. Are they, uh, going back to Maine? Now that we have the G-Wagon, I, I, I'm actually surprised They're to see Gators around, out here. Spot for the tank, be advised. Way out in the distance, you have an SBG, and he's actually rolling up on the Canadian vehicle playground. I'm, I think this LEV is going to see him, though. L LEV knows our, their helicopter just got killed by an SBG. Oh, there he goes. No match for the last six. Going to try to get one round off before he dies. You got one chance. And he's got his head. not even close. Ellie's giving him time to reload. Nope, there he goes. 
Bob goes to SPG. <laughs> Still stationary, 092 East. On yeah, I tracked him. Roger. Lav 6 makes easy work of the armored SPG. Yes. I have a drone and I have an ID. Ooh. ID. Roger, I'm doing that. I got infantry spotting me. There's Can we get one of those big lodgies to come down and resupply chop? We need just basically just all ammo. Commander is going in with an ID drone. Way on the distance you have. Tanks hit with one track and one. Oh, well, DMP looks like he also... tried to flank him, but he just got toasted. Where is the commander? That's what we want to find out right now. This is the commander right here. And he says he's trying to find vehicles to blow up with an IED drone. So we're going to chill out right around here. Position, so I'll keep tank updated once I get into a better position. Copy. Because this might be bad news for the Leopard. One of the best ways to deal with vehicles as insurgents. Pop a bunch of IEDs on the drone. LAVs are currently moving up on both halves, be advised. IDs on the way. Oh, he got tracked earlier. The BMP actually tracked him. Might have just enough time now. They're double tracked. Oh, tracks are up. I'm not seeing much smoke, so... Th this tank might want to stay in play. Tanks in there. We got the new mark. Do not know. No, looks like he might just RTB. If he RTBs, the IED drone's gonna be out of luck. It's gonna be close. IED drone needs to be quick. I, I, dude, I think the tank is staying and playing, just going a bit north. I have ice on the tank. I'm six of the Moving north. It's, it's moving north. Hey, IED drone, IED drone. Uh, the leopard is going back to the hab. I mean, main. Oh, lab six and a leopard. Are they really going to make this a juicy target for the IED drone? Oh, oh there he goes. There it goes. The little IED drone that could. Nails a leopard. Lab six gets out just in time. And down goes the MBT for the Canadians. <laughs> Can I get the confirmation of that tank died? Air lab, good shit. There is nothing left. Lab two? Of the leopard. Yeah, yeah. come on, kill, come on, kill. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Also, there's a, there's a lab. There's a lab six nearby. There, there's Insurgents. A lab six nearby that uh, apparently tank. doing so well that my voice is cracking again. I thought we were covered there. Uh, I need to get some, I you need some honey well. tea or something because, man, voice keeps on cracking. I'm going through my fifth puberty with this voice cracks. And there goes the game. There goes the server. Uh, the tank crew that got blown up is obviously offended that they died in this situation. Uh, is the server dead or did I crash? Uh, I think that's just a me crash, so we should be okay. 48 and 48. Yeah, just a couple people disconnected, so not too bad. We'll get back up in the eye in the sky. Angles here. 194 tickets for the Canadians. As we can see they have set up a fob west in ammo storage. And uh, where do we want artillery? Uh, that's... I, I don't, I don't like this play like right now. Canadians are Standard way out. Now. Of where they need to be. Oh, but they do have a fob right on the objective, actually. And I'm trying to see if we have a hell cannon anywhere. Oh. I, that, I think that's it. Shall come down, like, on your position. Oh, there it is! Watch out. Wow, right in the alleyway! Oh my god, what a shot! <laughs> Now that's danger close. Incredible fire support for the insurgents. 
Multiple hell cannons raining down on the north side of the objective. They just keep pounding this compound. I'm gonna turn this on so you can see the big bad Canadian Captain Cash down. Oh my god, what a shot! Direct hit on Yamaha and PH. Propane obliterating them. Ekvan, Kling Strikes, and Plector just barely getting out of the blast range. And another one comes down on Cardoza! Hell Cannons just tearing through Canadian infantry on the north side of the objective. And what a shot! Keep these Hell Cannons. Mama Misi and Sadkov been taken out by the second one. They don't know labs. Okay, Mark. This hell cannon doing work. Also, one of the chop shop hats is down. Just try to keep the Canadians at bay. Five, can I steal your slot to do a run to chop Oh, and shop? a grenade actually pops off in Tim and Spath. Right. Fall off the top. Explosions okay. everywhere for the insurgents. Really take some supplies out of five spot. Look at the amount garage. of Canadians that are just down. Just take like 700 ammo. 176 spot, tickets. Roger. Okay, I'm in position. I'll keep armor updated as best as I can. Be advised. Okay, firm. Thank you, man. Canadians starting to close in on the compounds. They have a, a, a little breather. No hell cannons coming in just yet. LB marked on my point. That sounds like artillery. They do need to watch their spacing though. This Canadians try start to slowly move south. Objective is just across the street, next block over. South. Nice little infantry movement though. Tossing some smokes, covering their uh, angles. They took the hat down there on the southeast side. Rex lay on shaky legs. And Baker. Ooh, Dorados, though. They're chopping, chopping. In the little right hidey now. hole. Canadians starting to cap chop shop. Them. I can get the U mortars. Laying into them uh, with the PPSH. Hold so... on. Oh, Love to see it. One Canadian down. Something near my mark. Be and this is the new sapper weapon. Uh, like command strike. Uh, insurgents could use the, the PPSH if they border. were a raider. Uh, the the sapper. Hey, oh, he's, he's like putting an IED on his position. Can I get me a command strike mark? And G6. He's putting it right outside his door. He's literally bombing his own building. Oh, he goes no. down though. Good oh, effort. Anybody got eyes? I need a squad. 157 a tickets to 733. Uh, LAVs are currently moving southwest. Hell cannons towards, uh, once again coming in to try to get some fire support for the insurgents. I'm just I'm looking at the map I'm real just quick. Hell cannons then. If we, I don't get a mark. Looking at the map real quick, insurgents are just fighting in their objective or their fob area. They're not actually pushing in. So, in insurgents, you see all the red. And if we see the turn on the capture areas, One LAV down. there's so much red Roger. in the capture area, and the insurgents are literally maybe 20 there. meters from it. As, as a squad leader, it gets frustrating seeing so many people that's so close you to the capture area, on the road, heading to and they just garage. fight outside of it. Hey, fam, we're gaining another one now. Oh, IED does go off. Plector and Baker goes down. Yeah, he's running on my mark. I'm down. They killed me. Hey, squad four or six, please get me a command strike mark. We should probably like hold the push with that. Like any squad leader. 
Like on we have a lot of mortars now coming in. Chewy, I think they're coming from uh, my squad eight marker. I saw like two lodges there. Lab yes. also moving in now to give some more support. Just plenty of Canadians oh. swarming over the, over the objective. Is that good? Because the hell cannons just keep on diving in. They need there. infantry, though. Infantry just finally lab. push in at the sure last I'm minute. 722 tickets right to 125. So Canadians body. have lost a significant amount of tickets trying to push in. Hell cannon just a little short, and as I say that, one lobs over the gas station and obliterates Ekvang. Just the slow traveling propane tank is absolutely hilarious. My mark. It's on the map for you. It's on the map for you. Hit, hit it. Thank you. What a shot! More shops have run. One Canadian on the backside obliterated again by propane. Back up again. We need more infantry supporting five and getting on shop garage. Nice little flank. Fantastic I'm flank. Risking getting TK one man goes here down. For the cost. Second one goes down. Fantastic flank. It's all good. It's all good. You got it, and a third one. Eskimo Joe knocks out three Canadians. Nice, good job. All because he just flanked. Easy as that. Baker now, right where Joe was. Oh, he might peek him here. Baker heard the AK. Oh my gosh! The propane actually landed right in the dumpster, just barely shielding Baker. Baker trying to drag big bad Canadian to safety. Eskimo Joe being patient. You see so much artillery going off, so many explosions, hell cannons. This bath, the next Our victim of the hell cannon. Shot, Eskimo Joe, they're literally right next to each other, other side of the wall. I don't actually know how he's gone down. He's getting hit by explosions. As you now have command mortars coming in. 75% capped on Chop Garage. Canadians had flanked the insurgents half. So it's pretty much all all up to Eskimo Joe to prevent the cap. One, two goes down with another flank. Baker. Oh, does trade. Eskimo Joe himself takes out pretty much an entire squad. Leon. Rex Leon, rather. The one who saves it. What a what a good effort from Eskimo Joe. Canadians will cap Chop Garage and give him another 100 tickets, which is sorely needed because they are just about to go under 100. It's going to be... About 700 tickets to 200. We need build to East Mask to fortify and squad leaders that are on the point to start placing stuff. Oh, that's not that's not good for the uh, insurgents. Squad eight, that's that their big, big lodgy. Where is it? Not having that big lodgy is moving. extremely I think painful. Shot it, maybe or scared it. Although they Looking lost the point. Hell cannons continue to rain down on the objective. I mean, that hell cannon is actually pretty close to hitting the guys in the back that were just getting healed up. The Eskimo Joe victims. But good, good push from the Canadians. Let's hear an ATGM go off. SPG way out in the distance. Wow. That shot was so close. But the Canadians are now just moving off. So almost. They might get tagged as they run towards the, the next objective, but. Yeah, that LAV bugged off near me. And oh, and there's a Canadian hab. If the Hell Cannon gets eyes on that, that could be 
extremely effective. The Hell Cannon is very similar to an actual conventional artillery round. Uh, normally when down. you command artillery, it's 155 millimeters. Right the Hell so Cannon in game is basically classed as a 140 millimeter round. So a lot of explosions going off. You can see mortars on ammo storage. This is where uh, the Canadians had set up earlier. Oh, sheep. Canadians going to push up. Yeah, we got hit by the tail. We're dead. Yeah, Roger. Just he's, marked. He's going to say the... Hey, we uh, need to get the... Oh, sorry. Mark shit. I was going to say the... Wait a second. Is this ID? He's got a couple. I don't see enough people on the mask. Will the tank go down a second time? Uh, squad six observed. Who I have there in the ammo warehouse. If he can drive, there's a tab V right next to him. I lost my sap in the disconnect, but uh, I'm gonna get the drone up anyways. Try to mark. Think he's gonna go for the tab V. I mean, it's such an easy target. You got to. He's just staring at him. Oh my god! What an explosion! IED bike knocks out a tap V and a bunch of infantry. <laughs> Incredible. The ragdolls. Absolutely hilarious. Gets thrown 20 feet in the air across the road. Oh man, at 644 tickets to 176, That's IED's so having a lot of fun. Hell Cannon's having a lot of fun, and Insurgents just obliterating Canadians as they slowly advance through the city. Ooh, ATGM from the Canadians goes off, and that was well shot. Knocks sure out a that had, have maybe a rocket tech or BRDM. Mosque. I can't quite tell what it was. There's an SPG. Back in the distance, too. And he's going to get killed again by the Lav 6. SVG Tech, he's not having the best of game right now. That is just easy work for the Lav 6. Complete graveyard for insurgent vehicles out on the east side of Mudaha. And the next objective, was it school? Mosque, East Mosque. You can see we have some insurgent tire fires actually uh, helping block site, block the area, keep Canadians out. We turn on our markers here. Canadian squad on the east side of the objective and then another squad on the south side trying to get around and pinch the insurgents. And even you can say uh, they're also getting pinched on the west side. The squad that set up on the uh, on the ammo storage early on in the game, thankfully for, for the Canadians, it you know they had enough bodies on points to capture. Usually, if you go so early onto the second or third point in invasion, you can have some issues because you don't have enough manpower. Oh my goodness, T Thomas in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hell cannon lands right on top of him. The hell cannons are starting to dial in. They're seeing, yeah, you see a lot of infantry helmet markers that the squads out on Mosque are saying, yo, these compounds, please. Can we get an update on Bless propane tanks. Armor, uh, vehicles. I need you. Dude, I could listen to these hell cannons all day. All day. We must have headed into the sea. Oh, I think they just. Oh, he might. He, he just got. Yep, this one. This Canadian just barely escaped it. First up to Sapper. If anything, 
these hell cannons are making it so the the canadians can actually not advance infantry if we turn this on again infantry are right across the street in the I'm field the keeping them pinned back and scouting. these hell cannons make it so the canadians don't feel yeah, safe he's leaving. five ieds placed on loss he, uh, my side was not able to do it and an rpg or spg frag round actually knocks out howling phantoms and user user i'm trying to find their pop canadians need to start moving because they're just, just being bogged down point. making themselves easy targets wait a second you have another ied drone Can we get a couple hell cannon rounds on the tow marking H634? I think the UAV is actually instead of yeah, there's no IEDs on it. He's just trying to scout. Maybe scout for his own hell cannon. Just incredible fire. Canadian armor starting to push back in. You got one lav just behind us here going up the road. Enemy LAV on my mark. About to link up with his second. Where are you, lav? There you are. He's a little spooked by Mr. Grayman there. In lav six, the. The Canadians, I mean, it's it's very nice to have these office. wheeled vehicles. I'm not a huge fan of the Lav 6, but the wheeled vehicles in Mutah makes urban fighting so much better compared to the Americans who have, you know, the Bradley, which is tracked. I think they just popped the friendly right there. Yeah, almost. Uh, the Americans, which have the Bradley tracked vehicles, Insurgents have the BMP, which is tracked. Russians, although they have the BTRs, the BMP2 as well being tracked. The LAV-6 is just incredibly maneuverable, and it makes for the urban fighting. Oh, wait a second, mine! Explosion didn't render for us, but LAVs actually hit a mine. Who needs wheels when you can keep... Oh, wow, they actually got just enough speed. To get right behind... A uh, house. Really lucky for the Lav 6. I have four can one man. Uh, your PTR is not many. Canadians getting pushed a little bit. Dorados taking the high ground on Yamaha. Yeah, I got the knife that's PPSH, the I don't know. I don't think Yamaha knows where he is. Dorado whiffs it. Uh, does anybody know where the primary attack cap is? Goes down. Oh, wow. Good save. No. Ring around the Rosie, there you go! Now that's how you play infantry. Keeping the high ground, Dorados with another good PPSH kill. Oh, he should see the rally right there. You know that's a rally. Ten, what did you say again? Dorados uh, should be moving. Oh, and two people just uh, spawned in. On the south side of, uh, so my part. Dorado might be a little too late. In that way, we can have three halves. Enemy Elliot, oh, great uh, shooting! That SMG put it in work. Another quick reload, and if you can just... Oh, hold on. Sad cope over here. Oh, wow! Incredibly unlucky There's for the Canadians. Here, they trade, but the rally goes down. <clears throat> Literally got killed right out of that 30-meter range. Incredibly unlucky for Canadians. Well played by Dorados. By the way, Squad 4, your PTR man is still remaining. In a tandem? Might have been skipping Bob out there. Tandem actually fires into the back side of the lab. SPG fires uh, and misses. On the map. LAV is saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to get out of here. 
way too much infantry. Gonna be last fleeing east. And the Western Canadians are slowly Enemy making their way into the objective. Left. What in the world? Roger. How did he? How did he get him killed? Tank is back out. Let's go ahead and uh, tank is back bike. out. Ready. Where's the tank at? Can we get up there, Mark? I think oh, they wait. might be pushing over from ammo. Is it going to happen again? Oh, it might. It's identified. Can they do it a third time? Yeah, they're coming the IED uh, bike ammo. stalks his prey. The leopard on top of the hillside. None the wiser. He's gonna peek. Uh, whole squad on. On squad oh, did you see him? I don't know if there's a commander. The, there might uh, not be a commander west. because I'm just seeing only the the main turret move, which means they're actually going to miss him. This is right when you start getting sweaty hands if you're the IED crew because you are so close to victory. You can taste it. Fire it. Let's go. Another tank is going to go down for the Canadians and a piece of sheet metal almost slams right through my computer. And another nice. Vic Good blown shit. up. At a certain point, Canadian armor is going to realize that they need to stop being by themselves. Absolutely fantastic job by the insurgents. 561 tickets to 85. Losing these vehicles is no good. Squad 6 is rotating to the US. West. So you to can the see, you yeah, had Squad 9 over here with the SBG techie. You had uh, uh, Unfuzzy War over here. You have enough eyes holding this kind of flank where just sitting and being in one spot is just not good. Take a look. A big push on the western side. 83 tickets. There there should be some command strike coming in soon. Enemy M113 uh, under the bridge. We can take a look at that new vehicle. It's got that 50 cal in the C6 machine gun. RPG comes in, but it's a little short. Hits the rocks just on the other side of the M113. They're coming behind him? The 113 is inside the ammo right now. Or yeah, just outside. Trying to get eyes. Oh, I think they're trying to get another IED. If they do, that'd be insane. Let's get into the close quarters combat here. Canadians taking the western buildings. And actually, you know what? We're going to keep these uh, markers on for you guys. Just kind of hard to see with all the different angles and stuff. So you can't really tell who's who. So let's keep these markers on for the close quarters stuff. Right, oh, great guys. shot. Plector kind of tumbles out of the building as Uncle Hillbilly knocks him out with the AK. And was that a hell cannon? I think that hell cannon round landed pretty much right on the rally. Big bad Canadian Captain Cash getting obliterated. Oh, that is fantastic that fire for the uh, Hell Cannons. Here. Mark over here. We're here. Air One Sam trying to get through. Game over, man. Also running through, but they got a lot of open ground. And that Hell Cannon is just zoning them out. Thank you for the ammo, 10. Great work from the indirect. Oh, an incredible! 
Hell cannon fires inside the base. Woza Cardoza goes down. Like five enemy. The hell cannon? Yeah. I just communicated with him, telling him that it's good hit. He's gonna be firing another one. Shoot it again in the same location. He's doing great. Yeah, shoot it again in the same. Oh, there's another one coming down. You got two hell cannons, one hitting the forward position. Another one. Hell cannon inbound. Hitting. Same spot. <laughs> These poor hey, Canadians just stuck fired on the ridge. My observe. Squad four observe. Possible hab there. Yeah, there's and another one goes that. down. Oh, just outside the wire. One hell cannon, just a little short. They've had eyes on this position, so maybe the variants. What a shot! Yamaha takes a hell cannon right to the face. And the Canadians are just zoned out. Hell cannons on every side. IED bikes on every flank. Hey, command, how long till uh, you get another command strike? And this one lands uh, perfectly. <laughs> Knocks oh, out Lusty, who is stuck so in the bunker. And about an entire yep. squad wiped all thanks to Hell Cannons. Incredible. That's gonna. If I was them, I'd just keep on We're firing. We're getting wrecked by this T Lab. Commander, do you hear shots coming from your northeast? Now, although they are doing well, they need to remember that they have to play the objective. You can see there's a lot of Canadians on the east side. A lot of Canadians starting to push in. And there's too many insurgents getting drawn into this western fight. I think Canadians have actually started to cap. Oh, just about. Almost there. Maybe one or two more has to get in. But Canadians are about to start capping East Mosque. Oh, yeah. I think right from under Insurgent's nose. Five, uh, ready to wreck your call fire towards the 10th part. Chewie goes down. Cool golem. Also doing what he can to try to knock out. Oh, how did he survive? GL landing pretty much right in front of Big Bad Canadian. He stays up. Baker taking fire from the PPSH again. This PPSH is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Guessing it's that sapper from earlier. Oh, golden potato. Tosses a grenade and what a grenade! Baker goes oh, down. Water, not a lot. Sad coat mops up we cool golem. And you heard Chewy oh, say, hey, I'm gonna do what we're gonna call a broken arrow for the hell cannon. Hell cannon firing on their position. And if they do, look at the mass of troops. Hell cannon a little short as a helicopter skips through the frame. Doesn't matter for the RPG. Can you want re, uh, re, to uh, return to main? And we'll just build a new hab. Uh, the Hellcat will uh, drop base down. Oh, he's getting Got shot it. by a Dishka now. We're gonna go ahead and set up a new Hellcat. Uh -huh. Our Hellcat cannon don't have that much range. Helicopter just barely makes it out. I'm very surprised. He got hit with one RPG. And they're pushing uh, hard from and the east. a lot of Dishka fire. Shot enough to have to RTB. Yep, Canadians now capturing the, the objective. The fall, be 36 tickets. Insurgents have the west side. They just need to push back onto the objective. All right, we just need to pour people onto the point. Just tell them to spawn rush in. You can see the, the half dome. Is the dome half? It's, it's a half circle makes a dome, strike. right? Like right on the mosque. If you see the half circle slash dome, a lot more. Oh, fantastic hell cannon. That dispersion should be able to knock out the rest in the compound, but Hell Cannon now starting to get dialed in as insurgents stream back on the point. 35 tickets left for the Canadians to try to do something here, and they need to get inside. E3, uh, squad 10. King goes down. Yeah, I'm moving. Hell Cannon firing all around the Canadians.
Hell Cannon lands almost on the, uh, top of the Tap V. The this is incredibly close. Tap V in as well. 35 tickets still. Canadians trying not to give up. Danger close. Hell Cannon literal meters away, but knocks on Beck. More explosions, go. Whoa, hello. Didn't even realize we were getting command mortar barrage, but mortar barrage coming in on the objective. With hell cannons just in case. So much explosions going off. Canadians here. You can see a few inside the mosque and school itself. Hell Cannon is so close. Literally right outside the walls. Oh, this Canadian needs to be very careful. They pick people up now and they go down. That's an instant ticket lost. Oh, Hell Cannon. I, I think the planner actually saved them. We got a daisy chain of revives coming in. Tap V goes down. More mortar barrage is coming in. I'm gonna keep them in those hell, hell cannons until you tell me to stop. Surgeon coming around the flank. Yeah, yeah, he's dead, he's dead. They're just clearing the school. Nah, oh, Hamas, brother. Fourteen tickets to 438. Hey, RPG like comes through. Oh, that frag round did so well. The Canadians are actually wiped on the objective. All of the Canadians. That had pushed in those blocks have been obliterated by a hell cannon mortar barrage. Oh, Tershak nearly gets killed by his own hell cannon. A bunch of infantry on the east side. Hey, and that's all you got accurate. left. Hep user, Hep user goes down accurate. from a good shot from Delurb way up high on the roofs. But the danger close to Oh, no. Grayman takes a, a direct shot from a hell cannon. Necessary casualties to protect the objective. Nine tickets for the Canadians. Yeah, it's accurate. Northern Cup is over, I guess. Need people pushing up to save that. Canadians still trying to push in. Three tickets left, and I think the insurgents will be able to hold them here. Yep, Air One Sam goes down. This PPSH, the sappers having the PPSH has been so nice. This whole time. And 427 tickets to zero. That's it. Insurgents do manage a win. Talk about stress. Yeah, no Good job, guys. 269 kills to 287. Hell Cannon's OP command, Scott says. Hell Cannon's and IEDs. Definitely won it. Man, what a game. All those explosions. You love to see an insurgent faction that can actually have a whole bunch of explosions. Amazing.